Okay, we're gonna practice stays today, and I'm gonna show you the three different stages of stay that I like to teach. So I used a treat to get him into a sit, so I'm gonna give him the treat, so then I have an empty hand, it pauses, and I say stay, and then I calmly praise, good boy, good boy, free, give him a treat, and the release word. Okay, I'm gonna stand up and do the same thing now. Stay, good boy, good boy, calm praise, free. If he seems like he's starting to get distracted or wanting to do something else, then I'm gonna release the stay so that he is successful in the stay. I wanna make it short, quick, and easy. So the beginning stay should be very easy. We're not trying to discourage them from staying, we want them to stay. If they can do two seconds, try three seconds. If they can do three seconds, try five seconds. If they can do five, try 10. If you try to do 15 and they can't do it, stick to 10. And then when you practice enough, they'll be able to do 15 in no time. So we just did down um, sit stay. Now we're gonna do down stay. So again, empty hand, stay, good boy, good boy. And I'm gonna drop the treat right in between the feet so that he gets to eat the treat while he's laying down. Good boy. So I can keep extending this day by just dropping treats between his feet and letting him eat. So we could do a much longer down stay. Good boy. Free. So in this day, when I do a hand signal, the hand is empty and it pauses while you say stay and then it moves away. Calm praise while he's in the stay. Release and treat when he's done. You're free, you did great. Thank you for being my demo dog for step one. Okay, so now we're gonna do step two and Router's going to demonstrate that. He's been doing this stay for about three weeks now. So I'm just going to take my hand and pause it by his face again, just like I did with Strider. Stay, good boy, calm praise, good boy, good boy, free. So he was successful, so I'm ready for step two. Here we go, stay. He stays put, I move. Good stay. Good stay. Good stay. Free, that was beautiful. Okay, this is Rolo, the mixed breed, and he's going to show you step three. So Rolo is not a puppy. He's already been doing stays. He knows how to do them well. And so we're just gonna show you step one, stay. He stays, I stay as well. Good boy, calm praise while we're doing it. Good job. And treat and release. Free, good. Step two, stay. He stays, I can move. Good boy, good boy. And we really wanna have a stay where he stays and I can move up to 30 seconds to a minute. So that means I've done quite a bit of practicing. Um, if he can do 15 seconds, then we do 20. If we can do 20, we do 25. He's gotta be really reliable on the 30 second to a minute stay before I'm gonna to go to step three. Free, release and treat, sit. Step three, stay with an empty hand and I move away. So for a week, I was doing stays from here. And then for another week, I was doing stays from here. For another week, stays from here. So we just take our time to get further and further away from him, good boy. Good boy. So we work in baby steps. Make it easy, and as he continuously does well, every time, then we start to extend it. If he's not good at stay and I start leaving him, I'm gonna make him feel uncomfortable, and he's going to start going to do something else or running to me so he can get the treat faster. In this day, he stays put. I bring the treat to him. Free, good job. So right now I'm showing you how to do puppy stays. If I were to show you how to do a real stay, I start off in heel position. So he's right by my leg. I say stay. My hand pauses and then it disappears. I walk away. When I get to where I'm going, I like to cross my arms. I'll wait 30 seconds to a minute. And when I'm done, I just return around my dog and back into heel position. Free. So I will practice that with the puppy soon. If I take a treat and hold it to the nose, I can circle around without them moving so that I can eventually do that step three stay where I leave my dog, give space, and return around him. Let's try it one more time. Heel, stay, good boy. So I move away, 
Good boy. Calm praise while we're doing the stay so he knows we're still working. If he looks distracted, good boy. Just calmly praise. We don't want a high voice that will pull him out of a stay. We just want to calmly let him know he's doing good job, love. Good boy. I don't want to use his name because that could pull him out of the stay. And then when we're done, I calmly walk back, circling around and into heel position. Free! And there's step three, our final step. Down. Good. Okay, so for a Pez dispenser stay, you get them in position, empty hand says stay, and then every few seconds you give them a treat. So when they're on the ground, I like to treat the floor so that they stay laying down on the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, good stay. You are doing your stay right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good stays. Good stays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Free! Beautiful down stays. Very good. Pez dispenser stays. So we can give treats while they're in the stay, anytime they're being distracted by watching something, or if they're afraid they're gonna miss out on something, we just feed them to stay in position. Yeah, good job, you did great. <laughs>